So hi guys, hope you make fit, you make fresh. So this week I'm going to talk about a very awesome collection. I'm going to talk about a very dope, a very unique, a clothing line that stands out, a clothing line that is inspired by vintage t-shirts, a clothing line that is inspired by collections that were done 500 years ago, a clothing line that is just next level, a clothing line that you haven't just seen. This clothing line is called Fear of God. It is designed by a designer called Jelly Rolenzo. So this guy starting out. So one of the things that formed his foundation is his family had a very deep Christian deep Christian connection. These are guys who pray, these are guys who go to church, you know, like you gotta be spiritual, you understand? Yeah, you have to find a foundation first. So Jelly Lorenzo, uh, first of all, he was a sports agent. Yeah. He's not really, really like a typical designer, like someone like me who goes to school to study fashion and everything, you no. Know? Jerry Lorenzo is just next level. First of all, he was a sports designer. So, a sport, not sports designer, was a sports agent. So, one thing, he managed a baseball player. He's called Matt Kim. So, Jerry, Jerry could not find anything that could fit the player's uh, needs or what he thought should be style for the player. So, this sent Jerry Lorenzo to create a very new fashion line. He first off started with a clothing line for the Fear of God collection, which is I think in the sixth collection. Yeah, this is the sixth year. He started way in 2013. So when Jerry was starting, uh, there weren't so many designers like him. And then the fact that he chose to name his collection Fear of God. I think there is a very fine line where people don't want to like get committed to Christianity or show their uh, allegement to Christianity or to their spirituality and I think this should form part of a design, they should form part of who you are, you understand, like if you are making a collection it has to show something about you, you don't really have to conform because I think conformity is something that is setting so many people apart and you find that not, is it apart or together yeah, it does the same and conformity makes some of the brightest minds not really shine in what they're supposed to do so jelly lorenzo creates this fashion line six years ago first of all he's not a designer he has not gone into any fashion school he doesn't have any know-how on how to do any of these fashion issues so what jerry does he has some of the best sewing uh, personnel in the LA, they design some of the best collections that you see in this video. And one more thing is that uh, Jerry has a, like, he just disrupts. If you look at this Fear of God collection that I'm going to preview as I continue on, the draping is just way, 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 way above. Like, it has the loose silhouettes, like the oversized, you understand? Like, it's just something that you have not seen in a while. And then the draping also uh, dates back to some sort of vintage. There's a lot of reference to the 1980s, and I think this is something that uh, designers we need to take. There's a lot of history behind. We cannot just create new concepts, new everything, no. We just have to create something that people associate with, something that is just dope, something that reflects to who we are, yeah. And then, after founding the Fear of God in 2013, so at 2013, Jelly Lorenzo already has a kid and he has a wife. So the wife knows uh, Big Sean, and Big Sean knows Kanye West. So Jerry gives Big Sean uh, part of his collection, some clothes of his collection, Jerry, and Big Sean is like, wow, this is just dope. And then he now links up to Kanye because he was signed to Kanye's label, Good Music. And Kanye is like, yo, I gotta take this guy in. So that's how Jerry, Jerry uh, makes it in the fashion industry, especially in the streetwear. And then after getting into Kanye's sphere, Kanye takes him to design the next, be part of the next Yeezy collection. Yeah, and uh, and from there it has just been like 
an upward movement for Jerry and I think he's one of the most accomplished designers although not really like a designer designer yeah and uh, I think there is no limitation if you want to do something if you want to be a designer just find people who can design like people who can make things for you because Jerry is not like a typical designer he hasn't gone to a school and be like yeah I do design stuff no Jerry is just someone who stands out. Jerry is just someone who does his own thing. And one thing that he admits is that there are a lot of people out there who don't want to conform to their Christianity. People who don't want to conform to like who they are. He says that, and I agree too, that if you're designing, you just have, have fast to dig in to who you are. Like, let who you are make a basis of what you want to design, make a basis of what you want to create, make a basis of anything. And I think through Jerry, there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of uh, eye-opening that you can just be anything you want to be. If you want to be a designer, you want to be anything, like just go out there and find out. And one more thing is that uh, Jerry first lost money because he didn't really know the rules of, the, of uh, the fashion industry, the rules of fashion street where you understand. But he didn't, he didn't like stop there. He lost about like $30,000, that, uh, that's a lot of cash. So one thing, you don't stop when you fall, you just stand up and continue. It's just simple. And uh, one more thing that also made uh, The Fear of God to be one of the best collections. Guess what? Jerry Lorenzo gets to design Justin Bieber's tour merchandise and this like, boom, like blows up Fear of God. And I think there is, there is need for you to find who you are. I keep on repeating that. Find who you are, design for who you are, live for who you are, appreciate who you are, appreciate your flows, appreciate anything you want to appreciate about yourself. And uh, one more thing uh, about Jelly Lorenzo. So one more thing. He has done a collection. He has done a collaboration with Nike. It's called Fear of God. The shoes are just awesome. They are basketball shoes, but you can pair them with anything. If you want to pair them with oversized t-shirts, if you want to pair them with a pair of shorts, and the shoes, the shoes are just sh like they are in the class of Kinayezis. You see how Kinayezis have like blown up the fashion industry. The fear of God is just awesome. Like your shorts, you can go, you can use them to go outdoors, you can use them to go play basketball. So these formed a really big uh, design inspiration for the Fear of God collection. So one thing that uh, when you look at this shoe, the Fear of God, uh, the Fear of God uh, shoe, is that like it has the iconic uh, Nike swoosh, yeah. It also has the, um, the iconic, like, the, sh the shoe soles, they're just awesome. Like, they don't have, like, uh, any design lines inscribed onto them, like, all that stuff, kind of stuff, no. They are uh, the shoe, the shoe soles is just plain. And then has, like, this uh, bubble at the bottom. Like, this water bubble at the bottom. And then it uh, crosses the whole shoe. And then one thing that uh, most of the players uh, advise these guys is that if they were to make a shoe, the, the shoe had to be breathable. So it's made with some of the best materials by Nike. This is a shoe you should have. It's called the Fear of God. I'm also getting mine very soon. Because this shoe is just awesome. And uh, the other thing about uh, the Fear of God collection, they also released a pair of tees, uh, they released a pair of uh, uh, running mini trucks, and uh, they have like these oversized mini, oversized uh, sleeves. They also have like, the draping is just awesome. Like, they are easy fitting, but uh, I don't know what to say, man, because that, that's, uh, I don't know, it's such kind of thing, so... 
uh, one another one thing that has also inspired uh, been an inspiration from Jerry Lorenzo as a fashion designer is that uh, he don't compromise on quality. Quality is just key. Quality has just to be there. Like they had to redo the shoe because the players didn't like the shoe, so they didn't have to compromise the shoe. And also, and I think one thing that I, I'm gonna leave you with, he said that you have to find your purpose and find who you are, but you don't have to like make mm, your purpose like bigger than God. There is nothing that is bigger than God. So you just have to trust in the Lord. He says that he tried not trusting in the Lord, but all he did, he just ended up lost. So you gotta trust the Lord. That is key. Especially if you're living in the West and there are all these dark forces and stuff. And there are gatekeepers who want to control everything. But once you dedicate everything to God, God is going to like open the doors for you. You understand? And one of the uh, one of the books uh, that uh, inspired him to like you know like bring his spirituality into fashion, bring who he is into fashion, declare that the Lord is his savior. You understand? It's, the book is called My Ast My Atmost for His Highness by a guy called Oswald Chambers. So you better check this book out. It's one of the best books, I think so. And uh, one thing that he has left me thinking is that he says that if I don't sell a pair of jeans tomorrow, shouldn't affect my spirituality. So I think it's not conditional about how we feel about spirituality or like if God doesn't do this, we won't do that. No, 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 no. it's unconditional love between us and God. So thank you all for keeping it right here. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you share the links. Make sure you hit the notification button. And thank you so much. You can also find me on Instagram, Mr. Underscore Designer, for all the live feeds, for all everything. And you also can see I have myself a very awesome vintage t-shirt. So if you want any of these t-shirts, you can holler at me in the comment section. Make sure you keep it right here. Make sure you're the best. Make sure you're number one. And peace out and stay safe.